hello hello welcome to my channel this is my august 25th page and what i'm going to do is this is what i'm working with right now i'm just going to make a checkerboard background now if you have the um dilution square dance stencil you could lay this down in the different areas and just trace them out the first one and then move it over match it up and then do that all over but for me, I find it to be a little bit quicker just to take your drawing block, lay it down. And if you line this side up with the side of the book and kind of hold it, you'll find that you get straighter lines. And I'm just going to take my black Posca paint pen and I'm going to start drawing my lines out. Now for the next step, first I'm going to take papers and protect this page as well as this page. And then I have post-it notes. These are the full sticky ones. So I'm going to take a couple of them for the moment. And I'm actually going to split them in half. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here with this one. And I'm just going to put my line over. Or put it on this line right here, this top one. And then the same thing over the next one. So just that one part of that is exposed. And then I'm going to go in with my black Posca paint pen. Or sorry, my black paint and my uh, Distress Tool and Foam. And just color in that one. And I'm going to skip one and I'm going to move to the next. And I'm going to continue that whole process over and over again. So this is where we're at now. You can still see a little bit of the background, little diamonds or whatnot, but that doesn't bother me any. The next thing I wanna do is, I wanna put this tag on. Now to do it, what I need to do is kinda of give myself a little bit of room and I'm gonna line it up with one of my lines here. So if yours is in a different spot, just move it up a little bit, or move it to where it will line up at least. I'm going to put it just like this. So, I know it's this line, and 
what I need to do is I need to move this and flip it around like this for just a moment because here are what I want to put on here. I have got this stamped image from Everything's Rosy, the Diversions Everything's Rosy. And believe it or not, I've had this for a long time, but I've never used it before. And I was like, why have I never used this particular stamp set? I don't know. But I found it for this one. I was like, that'll be perfect. So I want to put these somewhere around here like so and then I have this hat from the Dilusions Drink Me that I thought would be absolutely adorable on this guy's head somewhere around here possibly and then I have this larger bow from the uh, walk in, the Dilusions Walk in the Park. It's just the, the larger stamp set that I was going to put right here on top of that one. And there can be two little lovely, jovely flowers. <laughs> so, the reason I needed to lay those down is because I need to see with the tape how far over I need this to go. And then essentially that's going to cover that over. However, what I'm going to do to it, you'll see. Um, so I know it needs to be like that. I'm just going to move these aside for one moment. I'm going to grab my glue stick and the Dilusions Mixed Media Tape. This is the smaller one that looks like it's probably about half an inch and the plan is I'm going to measure it out ahead of time because cutting it might be a little bit of a pain in the rear so go from there to just up to the that first point I'll cut it off right there and then do the same thing on this side, or do another one. Same size, roughly, from there to down here, and just snip it somewhere in that vicinity. There we go. First and foremost, I am going to, well, this, it don't matter which way it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna put glue just down one side here, the side that I'm going to put the tape on. Okay, I'm going to take my tape and only put it halfway on there. Something like that. I'll go ahead and snip that off to make it level. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm just going to put glue on the tape on this side. Only on the tape though. I'm going to bring my book over and put it where I wanted it. Line up my little marks there. Okay. Flip it over, and then I'm going to put tape halfway up this side, or glue, sorry, and then some over here next to it, just to help hold the tape in place. Turn my book to make it easier, and I'm going to go halfway onto the tag and halfway onto the background. Give it a really good press as I go. Looks like it's going over a little bit. Let's just snip it there. There we go. And there we are. 
Now we have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and with this open, I'm going to draw my lines all the way across this side and all the way across this side and then put the black and white checkerboard on here too so it will all match. You will see it all come together. All right, so this is where we're at. I've done both front and back. Now you don't have to do the front side here if you don't want to. Um, I just did. Uh, I wanted it to all coordinate and all blend. But the next thing that I did was I took the Dilusions Mask It stencil, the heart, and I had stuck it down on um, one of my 80 pound pieces of cardstock and traced it. Out, and then I just went around and left a little bitty border and kind of um, cut it. All right, and my plan for that is it's going to go up here. And then what I had done was I took another piece of my cardstock. This is, um, let's see, two inches by three and a quarter inches. And I'm actually going to stick that down right here, just like so. And I just did a little stitching border around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my color, my images colored up that I have. And then I'll be right back. And
right, so now I've got my images all colored up. I did pastel colors because it really reminded me of like the 50s. <laughs> the checkerboard in the background, you know. Now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna get all my images stuck down and I will be right back. All right, lastly, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna outline all of these with my black Posca paint pen and I'll be right back. That is it guys, that is all I'm doing for this page. I've got room up here to write, and then down here I can write and even put the date if I wanted to, or I could put the date up here and do a little bit of journaling here. It don't give you a whole lot of places to journal in, but I still like it, I think it's cute. Um, this, when I first thought of the checkerboard background and doing it in here, I thought of like a retro style look and whatever, and so that's why I went with the pastels. And, but it could have very easily been turned into like an Alice in Wonderland theme. No big deal. I mean, you know, um, Alice wears a bow, just made the bow blue and made her little flyer blue maybe. And the hatter you could have done in the pinks and purples or whatnot. But to me, even though this isn't the same colorway as this, it's still a warms color and it kind of pulls the warms over into this page. And you guessed it, I'm gonna do blues in the next page, so that way it's gonna pull it from here to here. But, and I might even go in later on and put a little something here, I don't know. It just depends on what I feel like doing whenever I go back through my book, when it's all said and done. Cause typically, sorry, typically whenever I get them done, I will go back through them and make sure that I've dotted all my I's, crossed all my T's. And if I don't add a little bit of doodling, I will here and there, or add something. But that is it guys i hope in some way this page gives you some kind of inspiration for your journals if you like the video please give it a like i thank you so 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 very much for watching and until the next time i hope you stay safe stay warm and i'll see you later Bye bye